Okay, our Valentine's Day is a month away. We're starting looks now. For our eyeshadow, I'm just putting some pink shadow where the hearts are going to go and then a little bit of glitter on the lids. Great thing about this look is there's so many hearts, no one's going to check if all of them look perfect. Can this lighting stop changing, please? Um, anyway, what you do want to make sure of is getting an even dispersal of each of the colors and also having the hearts get smaller and more spread out the further out you go. After that, just add some lashes and your favorite red or pink lipstick and this look is complete. It's Valentine season, it's carnival season. We're gonna give you the best of both worlds. After priming my lids, I start with a bright fuchsia pink sheet in the crease and I make sure to map out exactly where I'm going to apply it so that way cutting the crease, it's very minimal on time, right? I take a lighter pink shade to blend it out, go back in between shades. You have to do that to ensure that it blends out really, really well before you go further. I cut the crease with a regular concealer and then I start with this peachy matte pink shade, but I didn't want to take it on the entire lid, so I was like, I need to spice things up so i applied white eyeshadow on the beginning and the end and then i find the matte was a little too matte and so i applied glitter liner before putting pigment over it then i take my ingler gel liner for that really sharp way y'all know we don't miss with it and then to give it a little pizzazz we added the gemstones for the little carnival element no we need to take this down this is the final look. Honestly, looking at it, it looks like a mask and it's giving superhero vibes. Like, what would my superhero name be? Either way, it's still giving carnival as well as V-Day and I love that. If you'd like to see more, let me know below. Are we feeling this look? Tell me. Thank mm -hmm. you.
your hair okay now this is where I want my halo to be so I put a little bit of concealer right here and then I'm gonna look up and where the concealer stamps that's where my hair will be spread it out a little bit hey now Ooh. vocals vocal okay we got a position so now I'm gonna go in with some more concealer and just make my halo now you don't have to do this part with the concealer for a halo look you could just put the eyeshadow right on after the pink and it'll still look just as beautiful i'm doing it just so that my silver shadow can pop okay so now since i'm using a shimmer i'm just gonna go with my finger i'm gonna use the brush to get those little areas i'm gonna go back in with that second dark pink the halo part is done i'm gonna finish the look and i'll be right back and this is the finished look. Like, share, and follow for more tutorials.